Today's mission is survival. I'm out here uh, scouting around for some stones large enough to make a hand axe. It's a nice uh, brisk day out. It's uh, minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's like minus 35 or so on uh, Celsius. Got my, uh, my wool scarf in effect. Nice and toasty. Let's see what we can find. Alright, so I got a couple minutes of gathering. Got some hopefuls in here. Nice piece. This one's kind of cool. See how that works out. Well, all I'm looking for is stuff that's big enough that I can break off some pieces <clears throat> maybe break off an edge and make it really sharp on one side see how this comes to a point right there that'd be great if I could make that sharp and I can just hold the back of it and I got myself a hand axe right so you know quickie stone tools are very easy to make and they get the job done you don't have to be sitting there napping and and all that stuff taking hours of time to make this amazing tool when you can just break stones and get it done now you know, this is the tools that you use to make your fire kits, you know, to make your, your water containers, things like that. You know, then after, you worry about napping what you can to make really, really nice arrowheads and all that other stuff. You know, at ladle heads, everything else. But in the meantime, you know, your survival needs are met by <clears throat> instant tools, you know. I don't, I don't want to be messing around for hours when I can just, you know, break a stone in half and have a hand axe. You know, I, I can start making a bow. You know, within five minutes of breaking that rock, right? So that's the exercise we're going through today, and let's see if we can get something usable out of out of this uh, material. Just found this really nice anvil, flat surface, and it's really, really large, so it's going to be really rock solid to break these on. Okay, so what I've been using for my hammer stone is actually a big piece of quartz. You know? So I figured if my hammer stone ends up breaking in half or breaking off a shard or something or a big chunk, I might get a ha uh, hand axe out of that as well. You know? Okay, so I haven't broken all these up yet. I still have some I haven't even touched. It's probably the best looking piece out of all of them, too. But. <clears throat> I've already gotten some really nice looking pieces. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty happy with that one. That's nice. See the nice tight grain quartz inside. Right? So, that's a great edge right there. There's another one. All right? Normal looking rock. There's the edge right there, right in front, right? So, you know, very easily, hold it in the back. 
right there, right? It's another interesting one. All right here is really, really sharp. Easily hold the back of that one, right? So, got a lot of cool pieces here. This one's actually pretty sweet too. It's not really a hand axe, pretty small. But I mean, look at that edge. That's a great break right there. That's awesome. Nice edge. Insanely sharp. Might be a good size for doing feathers or something, right? Okay, so I got a bunch of uh, hand axes here. All easily and quickly made. Still got some extra material I haven't even worked on. But that's pretty much all there is to it, you know? You just, uh, just like making smaller cutting tools, you know? Um, quickie tools are really key to make. And you just need an anvil, and you just need uh, some sort of hammer stone to break them, you know? Stop busting off tools, like, instantly. Then you can use these tools to affect your survival by taking care of your fire and your water needs, shelter needs, if you have to cut down uh, saplings, things like that. And, um, or for bedding, you know? If you want to use these to cut um, pine boughs off of the saplings, you know. <clears throat> and uh, once in a while, even when you're making hand axes, you get lucky and you get shards. That can be used for arrowheads. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Alright, so this is something I don't mind taking. It's uh, <clears throat> the main shoot of the tree is dyed. And this is just uh, a little side branch. And it's absolutely surrounded by trees. It's getting choked out. It's only maybe eight feet tall. It has a couple little branches off of it. So this would be something that I would choose to make a bow out of because it looks like it's maple. I like making bows out of maple. And um, you know, it's really not. I'm not taking out a phenomenal, thriving tree. You know, a sapling that's really out in the open doing its thing. Really, you know, this thing is already half dead so I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> cut this off you know as if I was making a bow just to give you guys an idea the effectiveness of these stone tools all right this first one's working out pretty good switch to another one just to get an idea you know I'm gonna use a couple different ones so we'll try this guy out <sighs> love the smell of maple You know, it's an axe, right? It's just like every other axe. You start a line, you work your way down. It's not easy work. <laughs> Especially not at minus four. Alright, I think we're just about there. Let's see if I can pull it over here. Caught on some other branches around me. Alright, got it down. And there it is. Alright, so there you have it. Alright, this has been Mission 8 of Survival. As you can see, these quickie hand axes clearly get the job done. Appreciate your views, your comments, your support. See you in the next one. Take care.